Hello everybody, I am Mola No West, and this is Sir Whoopass once again. And we're on our way to shut down another of these energy sources to open up the barrier. And we gotta solve puzzles in here without the use of the jetpack, because there's a device over there called the Jetpack Fuel Extractor 5000. Which prevents our hero from using his jetpack in this particular room. And that goo on the floor is very deadly. So... Stepping into it would be a huge problem. And I don't think I'd be able to turn around and grab that box again and use it to make myself a nice little stepping stone here. But once that raft is close enough, there we go. That's what we need. And looks like I might actually need that box after all, because that's a pretty big jump to make without any sort of thing to step on. So, I got the strategy for... Ow. Like I was saying, I've got the strategy for this, and it's to jump and grab the box at the same time. Now, we wait for the raft again, and once it reaches its end, we'll throw the box down and use it to jump across to that platform over there. And might also want to grab it the second I jump again, because I might just need that box again <sighs> hey I actually cheated my way across this somehow well wasn't expecting that to work actually now, uh, hmm. Still can't use my jetpack. I see Lucy ain't gonna be of any help here. Hmm. What do I do? Is that gonna cheat my way over to that next platform? No, it is not. Hum. And I can now buy another weapon at the blacksmith. So. Hmm. If I had something to jump off of, like perhaps this thing, I might be able to get a little extra distance. But that might not work out so good, and hi -ya! Okay. Now from here I could jump there. All right. Forgot all about being able to sprint and jump at the same time. That's some good jumping I can do. Give me that gnome. Gonna be needing some of them. Gnomey gnome gnome. And all right. Let's just focus on fucking these dudes up. That's what I need to do right now. And you need to really stop being alive, because that shit is bad for me. Alright. Ass has been successfully whooped. Now, what's this gonna do? It's gonna open that, and that's what I would need the block for. Hmm. Okay, this thing's floating me across to these dudes. So I can whoop they asses too. So with them out of the way, they just won't be alive anymore. And I'm free to steal all of their shit. Like this gnome. And now what the fuck do I do? That's 
the question on everybody's mind. But right now, I'm waiting for a goddamn floaty bit to get over here so I can jump to it. Alright, that's good. Yeah, float on overs. And we'll do one of these. And you can tell that chest ain't super important because it's blue and not red. So if I can avoid having to do that, that would be great. Because I don't want to have to go back and re-get that block. That would be a huge pain in the ass. And it is not my ass that is in need of pain, but there is an energy orb there. And a couple of orcs too, of course. And it is their asses that is in need of pain. Now come get some of that pain. It is ripe and ready for the ass. <laughs> there you go, pain for you. Another ass whooping around here. Huh? And one more ass. Successfully whooped. And what have you? Is it better sword? I like better swords. That's a witch hat. Does it make my shooty stick better? Hmm. May contain bugs and other undocumented side effects, just like this video game. Mm-hmm. Increased health regeneration. I do like that. So does that give me, like, passive health regen or something? If so, I might just stick with it throughout the whole game. If not... Then I might take it off, because it will just make my gnomes a bit better, which I do like. But I also like taking less damage from every hit better than that. And I see my health is not slowly regenerating, so back to the brown beanie. And now it's energy orb time. Bust your sorry little ass. And then we'll make our way to that statue that has the piece of the artifact in it. This magic force field is no match for you, our hero. No, I would not say it is. And yes, screen tip. I am well aware that this too is indeed a loading screen. Now let's head off to that trial o wisdom, shall we? And let's get that jetpack fuel to recharge, and then we'll fly up this hill. All right. Trial o wisdom, only 230 meters away, according to what the compass says. And I'm assuming that's where that, where I'll find one of the things, because that's what I'm heading to. And that just ha seems to correspond, and that sounds like an IRS guy. Oh no, that's a gnome. The gnomes and the IRS guys sound similar, I've noticed. They got that annoying run sound effect going for them. And that's a whole lot of orcs. And a shotgun knight. And that's a gnome, which is great, but I'm not after any gnomes right now because I haven't been needing them all that much. Got full pockets and no need to... Okay, now there's a need to eat one of them. And my stupid dodge is still on cooldown. Why does the dodge need a cooldown? That's fucking stupid. Fucking cooldown on the dodge. Whoever thought of that needs a ass whooped. Ow. Fungoid Bob, your fungalness shall be your undoing. Ow. Now, if the fucking dodge didn't have a cooldown... I'd be happy, but no, you gotta wait before you can dodge again. And here comes the goat. Now come on, don't fucking charge me. Do something that I can knock you back by blocking. And of course, your stupid ass immunity on your dodge. Stop that. Why are you still charging? You're not allowed to do that. Oh, now you do something. Finally, I'm allowed to punish you. Good. Had to eat a shitload of gnomes there because of that stupid goat. 
And here is a red glowing chest, which usually contains a new equipment thingy. And now I'm not sure if this fucking puzzle is gonna kill me if I fail it. <coughs> <coughs> But I do know I just sneezed my goddamn brain out. Now let's see about this puzzle. Was that a good sound? It didn't sound good. Hmm. <coughs> Fuck, man. Why am I sneezing? Okay, it's Simon Says then. So I hit you and you. Okay, that's simple enough. Bump, bump, and bump. Okay, that's you. Top right, middle. Shut up, narrator! Thanks, asshole! You ruined my concentration! Shut the fuck up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Now I gotta start this over again. Because the fucking narrator's a dick! Do not chime in unwarranted! Okay. Alright, so it's this one. That one. And then the top right. And if the narrator can keep his fucking mouth shut this time, I'll be good. So it's this one, that one, top right, and then bottom left again. Now if the narrator can not interrupt me, okay, good. I was one away from solving it when the narrator fucked everything up by ruining my concentration. I know I need to find the artifact. I know the narrator's an asshole, and he needs to fucking not interrupt me. And I found me a nice looking hammer. That's it, I'm getting my mallet. Mallet achieved. Legendary Shatter Skull. Oh yeah. Instant migraine atop a long metal pole. Yeah. Now, trial o wisdom. Without the interference of any puzzles, orcs, or pesky narrators, will be good. And I don't want to have to redo that puzzle in the event of my death, which is why I'm saving. Flying away now, I got some serious hide off of that. There we are. Try following me now, Bodie boys. You ain't got no jetpacks. You can't fly as far as I know. Oh god, the frame rate. Is this what I get for running away from those skeletons? Oh, camera, for the love of shit, what the hell are you doing? Stop doing whatever it is you're doing, okay? Alright. I need to clear some of these boys out and stabilize this frame rate. Alright, that seems better. Frame rate is less ass now. We're good. And you are not because you're about to get stabbed in the face. And you too are also about to get stabbed in the face. And you sneaking up on me like that means you also get stabbed in the face. Anyone else want another face stabbing? Well, too bad. Well, you can have one since you're right here. And then there's him. He's gonna get one too. And then we're gonna. Okay, never mind. No more face stabbing. I'm on my way out. I've got a trial of wisdom to conquer. And... Pardon me a moment. Need to use the vending machine. Gotta stock up on gnomes. Alright, we're all good. Full of gnomes! And we've at long last reached the trial of wisdom. 
And once we clear this, we will have ourselves one of the three pieces of the legendary villain beating artifact. And there was a vending machine in here, so I didn't have to stop at the one outside. Hmm. Rune pillars. That might be a pain in the ass. And that's all blue and glowy. Hmm. And this is the only way that's open. The one with the big swinging spiked thingy. So we'll probably have to not get hit by that. And you can just suck on every inch of my sword. Hey, right, you stop that. You're not allowed hitting back. You're allowed to die. That's what you're allowed to do. Hmm. Ha. Your puzzle is futile if I could just fly over it. Probably should have put in one of those jetpack fuel extractors. And there's one right now. The mysterious fuel extractor 5000 prevented our hero from using the jetpack in this room. The puzzle needs to be solved without it. Okay, ow. Well, that ain't no trap. That's a dude aiming at me. And he's about to regret I regret what I done did sprint jump is a thing that I need to do and you need to not go throwing your fireballs and dude here needs to actually jump when I tell him to jump that would be a huge help and all right we're across, and you are about to regret shooting fire at me. Okay. So, where to from here? Hmm, perhaps here? But now, here? All right, so if I jump over here, I run the risk of taking a fireball to the face. So, where now? Hmm. This might be a problem. Problems are very bad. They are quite problematic, I should probably say. Huh. So if I'm over here, I can jump my way over here. Okay, this is a way I can go. I was just so distracted by wanting to kill that guy who was shooting at me that I didn't see this over here. But this doesn't seem to help me very much. Hmm. Is there anything important about this blue glowing thing? The Gate of the Ancients. Okay, that helped. That is a thing that happened. Camera for the love of fucking not camera. I mean the frame rate. It needs to do frame rate things. All right, he's gone. And you're about to be gone too, Orc Shaman. And I think we saw one of those runes back there on one of those rune pillars. So that might be an answer to something. Hmm. Okay, I see. And I see that Orc Shaman, or Witch Doctor that I knocked down there, ain't dead because I noticed a fireball hitting the wall at a weird angle. And pull the lever! And door opened. All right. So that's nice and solved. And we can get up on out of this room now. So I'm a pop on out and make my way safely to the exit while this asshole 
fucking hurls fireballs at me. And we All right. We're good. Okay. Lever is pulled. Puzzle is solved. And now there's orcs. That's fine. I can slay the orcs all night and day. And, alright, let's kill the witch doctor. He's particularly annoying with his fucking flame balls and shit. And, alright, yeah, you're done. And, come on, hit me already. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. And, there, you're done. And, good. That's one leg of the thing complete. Yeah, the blue room had uh, that rune on it. Or not the blue room, the orange room. That's the blue room over there, and I guess we'll figure out the rune over in there in the next episode, because I'm all out of time for this one. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me see you again. Bye!